I came across a movie tonight that has bugged me. It's entitled Francis Owes $380 Playing Candy Crush. Something to that effect. And under the comments it said the person was acting. Well, he was acting like a five-year-old brat. And I am allowed to express my opinions because I have free speech in the United States of America. I thought that movie was in poor taste. And I'm sorry I saw it. Acting like a five-year-old brat. I don't understand it. Society as, as a whole is, is very immature. And if this is fake, then you're all a bunch of fakers. And by the way, God's last name is not damn it. I get tired of that too. And I get tired of the F word. I'm sick of it. It's raw and it's nasty. And you have potty mouth. If you talk that way. You people are sick. I mean... I watched the one where he was looking for his Mountain Dew and he couldn't find any and he was acting like Stone Cold Steve Austin and, and drinking uh, orange pop like it was beer. I mean, what kind of tasteless garbage is on Facebook? It, it is retarded. You want to act like Stone Cold Steve Austin, sign up for WWE. They could sure use the talent. This is every bottle. And you've got me started. And I won't stop. And if I get hate mail, I'll report everybody that... Um, leaves a comment because I'm disgusted with this performance of this young, this young person, and this young idiot. He uses the F word like it's everyday language. Everybody uses it. And I get tired of it. It's potty mouth and it's disgusting. It is totally dis disgusting. And you people that watch this stuff, you're all a bunch of losers if you follow him. It's disgusting. And I, and I'm, and I hope YouTube throws him off of, of, of you. I hope the YouTube committee throws him off of YouTube because he is disgusting. Oh, you have some, yeah, you know, you have something to say about my face, my looks. And you'll say, oh, she looks like a guy. And oh, she has too many body piercings. Well, hey, get, get over it. I, I could make this into a, another movie because, you know what, I'm a little bit perturbed about the Mormon faith and the Mormons because they act like they're all stuck-up people. They can't talk to anybody. There are a lot of people that I've known. I, I was a member of a, of a church. And nobody talks to me with the exception of one person. And I was online tonight wanting to talk to one person. And um, I immediately said something to them. To them. And uh, they went offline. It's like, what the crap's going on? Do I got the coonies or something or what? I don't understand it. Mormons are strange people. I'm sorry. They're not sociable. 
I've I've asked for a friend request from a lot of from a lot of people that I knew from this church because I did like going there at one time, but now they're all acting like stuck that they got sticks stuck up their back or or no not not like that a chip on their shoulder that's more like it. Yeah, I don't know what's happened. I, you know what? I don't get it. Now I'm going to get hits all night about this dumbbell Francis. I don't care. I've said it and enough. Enough is enough. And it, uh, uh, I'm just grateful that I go to the church that I go to and I'm proud to be a Nazarene. Because Mormons are really stuck up people. They really are. You might run in, uh, you might, maybe I might go out to Walmart with my husband or something, and I might run into maybe uh, one or two members of the church, and they'll say, Oh, hi, how you doing? Uh, how you been doing? And everything. And they're all like smiles and goody goody to your face. And then when you're on Facebook, it's like, You don't even exist. You don't even exist. Now I don't get it. Is it like a rule that you can't that you cannot be friends with people once you leave the church? If it is, it's really, really weird.